Hello, welcome to SS United. So, see this slide, and this is continuation of SSIS tutorial. So, today we are going to discuss about what are the project parameter and what are the package parameter, and how we can use it on data flow task. So, as we can see, parameter are very similar to local variables which we use to create in SQL Server, and we can access them from the package that we created. And we cannot access the package parameter from different packages. Like if we have created any package parameter in package 1 and if we want to access that parameter in package 2 then that will not be available over there. So let's move to SSGT. So this is our SSGT. As we can see this is our package and we are going to create package level parameter. So how we can create? So right click on this package and then we can see our third option which is variables. So click on variables then we can see it has few options so we can click on this then we can see first is name then is scope so scope is our package so this parameter will be available on this package if you want to access this parameter from another package then it will not be available over there so we can rename with count and value be zero and here we can specify the expression as well click on this as we can see so we have formulas over here we can use this formula according to our requirement next is project parameter so project parameter are like two global parameters so we can access these project parameters from any packages which is present in the same project as we can see over here if we will create any project parameter then we can access that parameter in all these packages which is available in a single project so here we can see project dot params so double click on this and it will open another window and this is for the project parameters so now again we can click on this add parameters and here we can specify like package count here we don't have the option for the scope so this parameter will be accessed from all the packages so now we can save it and close it so now we have created our package parameter and project parameter both so next is how we can use it so this is our case study as we can see we want to load data from sql server table to flat file and apply filter at the source using the variables which we have created so first we will use package parameter then we will use project parameter so let's start so this is our table sales detail with sale person table and it has the values according to sale person and we want to load the data from that sale person which we will pass through parameters so as we can see over here then we need to create a package parameter then name for sale person then value should be a string and we can specify value now we can close it and so here we are going to dealing with movement of data so we have to use a data flow task so double click on this inside data flow panel we can configure our source and destination so source is OLEDB source now we need to configure our source we need to choose the connection as we have already created the connection so click on ok and then we can see data access mode so this time i am going to use sql command and here we will specify the command so this is our query so we can specify where condition with sale person equals to question mark so if we want to apply the filter on the view of a variable then we have to use the question mark so this is a question mark and copy this command go to on ssgt and here we need to paste that command then we can see we have the parameters option we need to map those parameters so click on parameters and here those parameters will be available as we can see this is system parameters so this is our sale person so this is our package parameter click on ok 
then again go to columns as we can see we are getting all the columns then click on ok so need to configure our destination so destination should be flat file now click on this delimited file click on ok we need to select the file so this is our file click on open column names go to on columns so here we can see we have the data in this file we have the data for Howard now click on ok go to on mapping mapping succeed click on ok so let's have a look of flat file so this is our flat file as we can see it has few rows but the cell person is Howard so now we are going to execute for join as we can see our variable and this time for join so now we need to execute our package so 16 rows should be inserted in our flat file stop this package and go to our flat file open it we have the data for join now close that file and go to on project parameters double click on this and this time we need to add one more parameter with package cell person and value should be a string and then we can specify the cell person name so here we have join Howard Rahul so we need to put Rahul click on we can save it and close it now we need to change our mapping so go to on this OLEDB source then go to on parameters so inside parameters as we can see we have access parameter so change with project parameter so this is our project parameter and this is for cell person so click on ok again click on ok and execute our package 30 rows should be inserted in our flat file so go to on flat file and open it as we can see Rahul's record has been inserted successfully so I hope you have understand how we can use project parameter and how we can use package parameter thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos